What's hiding underneath things can be scary. Underwater, under your bed, especially what's under your carpet. Except when you get new carpet from Carpet One Floor and Home. After tearing up your old carpet, they'll vacuum and apply Healthinex antimicrobial to your subfloor, disinfecting and killing mold, mildew, and any remaining general awfulness. Carpet One Floor and Home goes the extra mile to protect you, your family, and your home. Carpet One Floor and Home in Columbia, making your home beautiful, guaranteed. They were real. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Tuesday, August the 6th. Pleasure to have you with us today. We're going to meet a couple of uh, young people right now who have started a new organization. It's called Stage Right Theater. And I want to introduce you to Elizabeth Coran. Mm -hmm. Good to have you here, Elizabeth. And John Staples. Now, what is Stage Right Theater? Um, Stage Right Theater is a theater company that we started just a couple months ago with... um, a a pretty big group of people and um and we're finally going to put on our first show coming up okay so who came up with the idea to start a new theater company we've got a lot of theater companies in central missouri oh yeah so another one you all are going to be competing (laughs) against a lot of good talent yeah yeah, uh, we well, kind of started off, uh, both of us did a lot of theater in high school, and then, you know, we both got out of high school, and we thought, well, we want to keep doing it, but we were kind of done with the acting side of it, and we want to focus on directing. So we thought, well, there's not really a place where we can go just sign up and be directors. So we'll just start know, our 19. own. So we'll just start our own. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we did. We kind of fill in a bit of a niche. Uh, we are a youth theater, uh, teenage through young adult, uh, and we're actually going to be paying our actors, which is something else that kind of sets us well, apart. Well, where are you going to get the money to pay your actors? From ticket sales. So, I mean, you guys, are, you, you, you've got confidence in what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. How many people are in this organization that started it? Uh, it was the two of us that started it, and then uh, our first cast is a cast of 14. So okay. we kind of count them among our founders since it is our first show, and they were willing to kind of try something out. But did you not have to have some financial backing before you started, or did you just say, let's go ahead and start this <laughs> production, we'll get some actors, and we'll put a show on, and then we'll go from there? That's actually pretty much what happened. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we both backed it financially just with the money that we had at the time. Mm-hmm. And then uh, uh, we did, uh, each of the actors kind of made a small investment whenever they joined the show. And then uh, as long as ticket sales are up, they'll get that money back plus extra. And then uh, pretty much we, we didn't have to put in too much of our own money uh, considering that the actors well, made that Well, you know what? Investment. My hat's off to you guys. <laughs> Thank you. I'm Thank impressed. You. I'm really impressed. So when's your first show? Um, It is August 9th and 10th. We have one show on August 9th at 7 p.m. and then two shows on the 10th at 3 and 7. So what is the show? Uh, It's called Madam's Been Murdered, Tea Will Be Late. and It's what? Madam's Been Murdered, Tea Will Be Late. Madam's Been Murdered, okay. Yeah, it's a murder mystery comedy. Okay. And where is it going to be? Um, It's at Higher Ground Church, which is uh, located at 2900 Barbary Avenue. Okay, and how do people get tickets? Uh, come to the show. Come to the <laughs> tickets are sold at the door. We're not so yeah. at the door. You don't have a website yet. We don't. Uh, mm-hmm. We're working on a website right now, but yeah, no pre-purchasing tickets or anything like that. It's all at the door. Okay, so you're going to have a lot of faith that people are going to show up. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I I, w- I really wish you the best of luck with it. I'm impressed <laughs> by what you're doing, and I hope that it all goes well for you. I, I'm being that sincerely. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, it's Stage Right Productions. Your first show is when, again? Uh, August 9th and 10th. August 9th and 10th, and it's a murder mystery. And if you mm-hmm. want to see some nice young people who are entrepreneurs <laughs> and they're starting it with their heart, and you're working <laughs> with your heart and soul on that, best mm-hmm. of luck to you. Thank okay. you. Again, give us that location again in the... Uh, Higher Ground Church, 2900 Barbary Avenue. Okay, best of luck to you. Thank you. Okay, we go from... Two entrepreneurs to one entrepreneur here. Scott Bradley, good to have you here, Scott. Thank you. Carpet One uh, Floor and, and Home, and you've got uh, you've got a wonderful organization down there with a lot of good people. And every time you come on, you bring on something new that is good for the environment or good for our health. This one is hypo. Would you say hypoallergenic? Yeah, this would be a, another hypoallergenic floor. It's one of the only. Laminate, the only laminate that I've found that you can uh, clean with a steam mop. 
Clean with a steam mop. Uh, yes, I have customers that religiously love to clean their floors with a steam mop, but they're heartbroken when they find out many of the new floors don't allow steam mop. Why is that? Uh, because the heat can distort. If it has a vinyl surface, it'll distort that. Some laminate surfaces can't handle the high moisture, high heat. So when you when you use a steam mop, is that to sterilize the floor? Yeah, and to clean and sterilize, and they don't have to use a lot of you know heavy cleaners. Uh huh. Many times. So, but on on some of the laminates, you cannot use a steam mop. No, it'll it'll destroy them. Okay, yeah. but you can on tile. Yeah, on ceramic or porcelain tile. But yes. with this, which looks like real wood, now could you use a steam mop on hardwood floors? Uh, it's not recommended. Okay, I know they show it on the pay. But it's uh, the not info recommended. But uh, it's not recommended by okay. the manufacturers. So if you want flooring that you want a steam mop so that you can disinfect it totally, this is one that you can. Yes, and uh, impossible to stain. It doesn't fade from direct sunlight. Uh, it's impossible to stain? Well, anything's possible to stain, but it, I haven't ever seen a okay. laminate Okay, and stain. it won't fade from direct sunlight. That's right. And it's almost, well, you could say, virtually indestructible? Yeah, the wear layer on it is commercially rated. so. And you can't uh, scratch it. You can scratch it, but it's hard to scratch. You very, really very difficult. But I'm running my hands across this, and it, even though this is a, the 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 floor itself is a photograph, right? Yes. It's a photograph. But you ran your you run your hands across it, and you feel the grain of the wood. How do they do that? Yeah, it's called embossing register technology, and this is one of the only laminates that that have that. So if you see the knot, you can feel it. Yeah. And it, and it comes in many different colors? Yes, um, about a dozen. So what we're looking at, at here is kind of a, uh, a weathered gray look. Yeah, what kind of weathered gray taupe, uh, very popular mm -hmm. tone. But you can get now. it in the honey or better. And keep in mind that it's very pet friendly too. Very pet friendly. Okay, very environmentally? Uh, indoor air quality is excellent for that. It passes all the California CARB-2 requirements. It's Green Guard certified, which is an independent laboratory that yeah. tests the So when you, when you buy something that it's California certified, you know that that's the most stringent certification that you can have. That's right? one of the best assurances, yes. Yeah, so when you're looking for a product that you want to make sure that it's certified right, and for your health and the environment, look for the California certification. Yes, and there's no adhesives required for the installation of this product. Well, how do you put so, it in then? Uh, they have an incredible locking system that locks super tight so moisture can't get down. So there's no adhesive no at adhesive. all? Are there nails? No. No. It's a float, kind of a floating yeah, floor. So you keep your subfloor in, intact. and This has got everything. If you want more information, you can go see it down at uh, Carpet One Floor and Home. You're on the business loop, right? Yep, that's right. And the web address is? Just Google us, uh, Carpet One Floor and Home. Okay. They're good people. Yeah. Good people take good care of you. Scott Bradley, I'm proud to call you my friend, and I'm yeah. glad to have known oh, you for all always. these years. Oh, it's okay? been great. <laughs> <laughs> Pleasure having you here. Tomorrow, Community Land Trust and the League of Women Voters. If there's something you'd like to hear or see, I would love to hear from you. Drop me an email. That's pepperp at missouri.edu.